Hey Bob, congratulations on retirement, or semi-retirement at least. Uh, UMass Lowell's athletic department has been lucky to have you for so many years. Your name's right up there with those of like Poitras and Defratis and Riley as somebody who's seen it all. And I think that that is one of the things you have to be most proud of, the longevity and being able to stick it out and be present and enjoy every day that you're in that building, uh, whether it's Songus or Costello, you always did it right. I look forward to still another season with you, at least on the radio, and I, uh, I know that you'll be enjoying this summer off. Hopefully they get baseball back so you don't drive Claire too crazy, but I hope you get to relax a little bit this summer, and we'll see you in the fall. Bob Ellis, cannot believe you're retiring. As you'll notice, I have the Peking Duck roster in front of me. Uh, good luck. I will miss our conversations on multiple levels, many of which had nothing to do with UMass Lowell Athletics. I will also miss our dinners on the road. Bob, thanks for all your time, your friendship. You'll be missed. Let's make sure we keep in touch. Good luck. Take care. Bob Ellis, congratulations from your friend and your broadcast partner, Andy Merritt. Uh, it's been a heck of a ride, and uh, you will certainly be missed, especially in the broadcast booth. Uh, and uh, to, Sorry, what's that? He's not, he's not retiring from the broad, so I still have to work with him. Just kidding, Bob. Can't wait to see you soon, but congratulations on your retirement from the day job. Uh, now you get to put all the hard work away and just hang out with me and talk hockey. Can't wait to do it again. See you soon. Congratulations, Bob Ellis, on a great career in your retirement. And your continued passion will show through, I'm sure, with the calling of the Riverhawks hockey games. Uh, always great to be around such passionate people with such enthusiasm. Don't ever lose that. And congratulations. Congratulations, Bob Ellis, on your wonderful and amazing, very successful career. I couldn't be happier, but more of a privilege for me, an honor, to have worked with you for four years at UMass Lowell. Everything you have done, I can't thank you enough. I truly, tremendously appreciate it, along with my fellow Riverhawk brothers. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, and congratulations on your retirement. Bob, you've had a great career here. You've put in a lot of time and effort. It will be sad to see you leave. We're excited to still have you as our announcer here next year. And uh, there's no better person, so enjoy your retirement. Hey Bob, congrats on the retirement. What an accomplishment. We're sad to see you go from Riverhawk Nation, but we're very happy that you're still here with the hockey team. There's nothing like hearing your voice scream, go Riverhawks, and goal, and scream in the name. There's nothing like it, and we appreciate everything you do. And I hope to see you around the ring soon. Thanks Bob. Obviously, Bob, I want to wish you a very, very uh, happy retirement. It's well earned. Uh, you've been a credit to the city of Lowell, and obviously for a long time, UMass Lowell. Uh, your dedication to Riverhawk Athletics knows no bounds. I, I always marvel at your uh, enthusiasm, your love of the school, and really the love of the UMass Lowell athletes. Uh, you were a pleasure to deal with uh, from a media perspective, and uh, always enjoyed our chats. and. Uh, it's nice knowing that you're still going to be doing Riverhawk hockey because I know Riverhawk Nation uh, wants to hear your signature goal uh, call many, many more times. So, uh, happy retirement and uh, just do me a favor, Bob. Break down, get Netflix. It's a game changer. So, you'll have more time now to uh, do a deep dive into some uh, great television. But, happy retirement, but I know we'll be in touch. Hi Bob, it was a pleasure working with you all these years. I want to just wish you a happy and healthy retirement and uh, hopefully the Yankees will win another World Series for you soon. You and I have shared a great partnership in various endeavors for the last 30 years, Commission. Congratulations on your retirement. Welcome to a new vista on your life and I look forward to continuing a great friendship that will endure for the rest of our lives. Hi Bob, I just wanted to say thank you for being such a good friend and coworker and teammate these last six years. We're definitely going to miss having our resident historian and expert on all things UMass Lowell around, but I'm especially going to miss all of our chats, um, whether we were talking about uh, ice cream or dogs or just anything about life, you were always there to ask the right questions and really just care about people and, and what's going on in their lives and that really meant a lot to me and I'm definitely going to miss that. Um, I know this isn't goodbye forever and you're definitely going to be around, but the office will not be the same without you. But I wish you the best of luck in retirement. I hope you get to travel with Claire and do all the things that you've always wanted to do. 
We're gonna miss you. We appreciate everything that you've done, but good luck. Babo, what's going on? Your old friend, the Armenian assassin here. Wanted to uh, reach out and congratulate you on an incredible career. Um, I'm thankful that you know I was a I was around for six years of it. I uh, I appreciate everything you taught me. Um, the times you push me, you know, never to never cut corners. Uh, I'll never forget coming down to your office uh, and just talking to you, uh, especially when I was an intern and. Um, you really kind of helped me decide, you know, like what I wanted to do. And again, just wanted to reach out and say congratulations. And I know this isn't the, the end quite yet, but uh, I know good things are in store for you in the future. Take care, Bob. Robert Ellis, you'll probably leave UMass Lowell being known as the voice of the Riverhawks. But to me, you'll be known as one of the best co-workers somebody could ever have. I'll miss our morning sport talks, and I wish you nothing but the best. And I know you're a big stat guy, and the Hall of Fame was a passion of yours. I'm pretty sure you'll leave here holding the record for most photos taken and most games called. And one day you two will be in the Hall of Fame. I wish you and Claire the nothing but the best. Happy retirement, buddy. You deserve it. Hey, Bob. When I heard you were retiring, I just had to send a message. I know everyone associates you with sports, but to me, it's a little bit different. I met you 15 years ago when I was a student and I had to go on the radio for student government and I was so scared and you made me feel so comfortable. I'll never forget those days of sunrise and you interviewing me on what was happening on campus and then fast forward now with us both, both working at UMass Lowell, I still love being on the radio with you. I will never forget your smile, your laugh, those ties, I love you. Have so much fun in retirement. You earned it. Enjoy every moment. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. BOB, best of luck in your retirement. Riverhawk Nation will miss you. Your passion and work ethic on the job is unmatched. Glad we still get to listen to the golden voice of Lowell on the radio this year. Hi, hey Bob. Congratulations on your retirement. This is a bittersweet moment, not just for me, but for the entire athletic department. You are by far one of the hardest working, most passionate people I have ever had the honor of working with. You've been able to capture pivotal moments in Lowell hockey history, not just through your eyes, but through that great voice of yours. We'll miss that. And as I told you, this is not goodbye. This is good luck. So long, and I'll see you soon. And before I send you off, as the Yankees did in 2017 for Derek Jeter, I can't believe I'm doing this, but for you, I will. This is to you, Bob. Bobo, what's up, buddy? I just want to drop by and say thank you so much for everything this past year and for all the years that came before it. You've done such an incredible job with this program. Every day, coming in, giving 110%, you know, popping into our office, us popping into yours, bouncing creative ideas off of each other, annoying Aaron and everybody else that comes in with all of our facts and little random pieces of information. I, for one, am truly gonna miss going into the, the lounge every day and stealing a fully stocked ice cream sandwich freezer. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you and I felt it was only fitting that if I show you a little bit of my hat collection as you showed us so much of yours during all of our quarantine Zoom chats, I hope that you enjoy it and I'll end it with my Keen Safe Bucket hat because we have such an affinity for Keen and the Keen area. Hootie hoo, go Owls, go Riverhawks, go Bob. See you, buddy. Bob, congrats on retirement. Uh, if anybody has earned it, it is definitely you. Uh, all the all the extra hours and, and late nights after hockey games, uh, staying the right track in baseball. Um, that that kind of dedication is, is something that I I really enjoyed getting to watch firsthand. Um, and I know it's going to be sorely missed in the office, but. Uh, again, well-deserved uh, retirement, and, and you know, I'm really glad for the chance to having gone to work with you. Um, so keep sending those pictures, and uh, congrats, Bob. Enjoy retirement. Bob, the great B.O.B. I knew you wouldn't last long without me right next to you every single day. All kidding aside, congrats on the retirement. If anyone's deserved it, it's you. I know you're going to rock retirement. Uh, good luck in all your future endeavors. And hey, if you ever want to chat, I'm one call away. Enjoy your future, Bob. Miss you. 
I was absolutely thrilled when Bob was brought on board to the university full time uh, because he so loved UMass Lowell athletics that I knew we were going to do great things together. I really feel he made our department the envy of the Northeast 10 Conference and Hockey East with his video interviews and especially with his photography, the way he caught the most pivotal moments of every game. Working alongside Bob made my life so much easier and I enjoyed every minute. So Bob and Claire, uh, congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. Uh, please keep in touch. Bob Ellis, the voice of the Riverhawks, congratulations on your retirement. You are a true Riverhawk. I'm proud to call you a friend and enjoy the time with friends and family during your retirement. But I know you will be around to announce Riverhawk baseball for years to come. Hey Bob, happy retirement. I just want to thank you for all of the hours that you spent at all of our track meets. Um, really wanting to learn about the athletes, capturing all of their moments, um, and learning about all their events and taking the time to really try to figure out what our sport was all about. And it really meant a lot to me um, that you were there showing support uh, for all those really long days. And I also want to apologize for being the worst interviewee you've probably ever had. So thank you, Bob. I hope you have a great retirement. Bye. Hi, Bob. It's Taylor, class of 15 and 16. And Kristen, class of 18 and 19. Happy retirement! Woo! So I just want to say thank you so much, Bob, for being a part of my whole track career and taking videos and interviews, every special moment you captured, and I'm just so thankful to have you. Yeah, I want to thank you for being able to capture all my favorite memories and successes. It's because of you that I can look back on all those pictures, videos, and interviews and remember some of the best times of my life, so thank you for that. We'll, we'll miss you. Hi, Bob. You've had such a positive impact on me during my time here in UMass Lowell. Thank you for all that you've done and for all the support over the past five years. Your dedication to UMass Lowell Athletics is unmatched. You are so loved by the Riverhawk community, and although you will be missed, we wish you the best in your retirement. Bob, thanks for everything that you've done for myself and my program. Uh, your passion for Riverhawk Athletics will be missed, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you at many games still. Good luck in retirement and once again, thanks for everything.